How's it going guys? Welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. My name is Jake and today we are going to be spreading these two piles of wood chips behind me. But before we do that, I wanted to say thank you to all of the subscribers. We finally hit 5,000 subscribers a couple days ago. Sarah and I are super excited about that. Um, we couldn't be more happy to have finally hit that milestone. It's a good feeling and uh, we hope to just continue with, with the trend and keep moving onward and upward. So I'd like to thank you for all of your uh, kind support and kind words over these past like two years um, that we've been doing this. We really appreciate it. So please keep watching and uh, please keep giving us all your support and feedback on each and every video as you guys have done. Um, so yeah, let me show you what we got going on here today with these wood chips. So if you've been following along with the channel or if you're just new to the channel, um, this is the entrance to my wood yard road. Um, as you can see, I got all my IBC totes lying in the edge of the road and it goes all the way into the back to where I have my log pile and do the splitting. But this area here, right off of our main driveway up to the house up there, um, this is where I normally park my uh, international hook lift truck and I'll put a dumpster and the truck and then I have my flatbed um, body for it right there as well. And um, I'd like to basically just kind of fill in this low spot um, off of here. I don't necessarily want to continue with the asphalt millings um, because I don't really plan on driving too much back there like with the truck or really at all with the truck. Um, I mostly would just like to fill it in for a little bit bit more room for storage, um, potentially to put IBC totes and uh, maybe just drop like the empty um, body of the truck, like this flatbed body or the dumpster cam body back off there when um, it's not in use. That way it's not sitting here taking up valuable uh, space on the asphalt millings, which I could park another vehicle on. Um, so I, my buddy brought me over these two loads of spruce wood chips. They smell absolutely delicious. Um, and we're basically just going to be pushing them off into this low spot and trying to fill in this area. So um, to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to pick up the front edge of this flatbed um, with hopefully with the pallet forks on the tractor and just kind of pull it back this way to give me some room um, to get in between the two piles here. And uh, we're going to get these things spread. Sarah might even come out after she's done with a work call and try her hand at spreading some wood chips with the tractor. She's been uh, saying that she wants a little bit more seat time on the tractor, so I figured this is a perfect opportunity for her. She can just play around with the tractor and uh, I'll film her, uh, you know, being a beginning tractor operator. Um, I know some of you guys would probably enjoy watching that as well. So here we go. All right, guys, so we got the flatbed moved plenty out of the way. Just swapped out the pallet forks for the bucket with the uh, piranha tooth bar on there. Not really gonna need those teeth, but uh, you know, it's always nice to have them on there. So my plan here is, like I said, to just kind of fill in 
this low spot. Um, so I'm probably gonna be pushing most of this pile to the left here and this pile, you know, to the right to try and fill in. Oh, Gus and Louie just came down here, followed by Sarah. Hello. How's it going? We're back. We're back. You ready to spread some wood chips? I'm ready. I've never done this before. Never I'm done this, but you know what? You're, you're used to splitting wood, yeah. Well, it's a little hot. We, we learned in the last video, it's a little hot to be splitting wood when it's 95 degrees, right? Yeah. So, so at least I'm gonna be doing the spreading. You, well, you want to give it a shot, right? Yeah. All right. This is a pretty easy thing to do, I think, especially for a beginner like yourself, because all you got to do is just well, push the wood chips say, around. Not advanced at the tractor. You're gonna be after after today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, basically, I was I was telling them we just want to kind of fill in this low spot where the dogs are now. That way we can have a little bit more room for uh, putting, you know, IBC totes and maybe put the dumpster and stuff on there when it's not on the back of the truck. What do you think? Sounds good. Let's All right, it. let's get on the tractor. Keep going. Good. Now pick the loader up and dump the bucket. No, don't hit the buttons, yeah. Pick it up more. Good. Now back up. Your right foot. Now put the loader Put the loader back down, remember? Put the loader down. Now straighten out the bucket. Good. Now dump it. Stop. Dump it. Put your foot on the brake, though. Good, now back up. So guys, I quickly realized here that there are so many things that I do, or any of us do, while on the tractor simultaneously that you don't even think about, that I, uh, I was kind of thinking of them as I would be doing them, um, anticipating Sarah to do them. So bear with me here. I wasn't um, getting upset or anything. I just wanted to well, let her know what she needed to do that way she could be as safe as possible and don't worry the roll bar is going to go up very shortly okay stop stop foot on the brake put your foot on the brake yeah now dump it so another thing I realized here is that there were some rocks buried underneath there and I wasn't exactly sure where they were so I was trying to err on the side of caution and telling her to put the foot on the brake that way she wouldn't find herself with the tire in a hole and potentially um, get herself into a dangerous situation um, so again just airing on the side of caution until it was all spread out same thing so put the bucket down low back up back. good now raise it up a little good Raise it up, good. Good, now back up. So what do you think so far? I think I'm finally getting the hang of it. You get it, you understand what yeah, we're trying to accomplish kinda, here? Yeah, I just kind of move it until it does what I want it to do, but now I think I know which way to move it. Yeah, it's like inverted, up is down, down is yeah. up. It's a little confusing. But you're doing a good job. She's basically so far just kind of pushed the pile back and created a little area here. So now you basically have to just keep pushing those new piles back and creating like a little road for you. Yep, we're trying to move it back and kind of, you know, kind of trying to fill in that little gap between the two piles. All right. All right. So give it a little more juice. Yep. Put it up to like 1500, 1700. 
look at the RPMs right there. So go a little bit more. Yeah, that sounds good. So for this work, I had Sarah in low gear, four wheel drive. And like I just said, it had the RPMs around 1700, which gives her plenty of power to push these lighter chips. Um, she was doing a great job so far by just basically pushing the pile back and creating a nice level platform for her to drive the tractor onto uh, in order to be able to push the pile further and further back off the asphalt millings and into the woods. That's good. That's good. Now back up. Good, now dump it. No. Okay, now look. Pull forward a little bit. Stop, 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 stop. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. You feel yourself sinking like that? Stop. All right guys, so I'm having Sarah stop here just because she's spread out the pile enough to where now she's, you know, basically driving on for only fresh wood chips and she just simply doesn't have the seat timer or the experience to, to know when the tractor could potentially um, sink or like tip. So I don't want her going much farther than that. I will finish up this section um, and spread it out and kind of fill in the holes, but she's now going um, over here to start pushing on this pile. So lift up because you're taking too big of a bite. There you go, now push forward. Let's drive forward. You're not, you're not doing anything. Your bucket's all the way down. <laughs> Good, now back up. <laughs> Come at it, dump the bucket, stop. Dump the bucket. Come at it, like circle around so you can push them this way. As I'm sure many of you know and can tell, um, whenever you're teaching your significant other how to run a piece of your equipment, it can be a little bit nerve wracking. Um, but Sarah was doing a great job here and she doesn't mind me telling her kind of short commands um, because at the end of the day she realizes that um, she's new to this and I have a little bit more experience and she wants to learn. Um, so in the situation it might sound like I'm kind of barking at her but I'm really not trying to. I'm just trying to make sure at the end of the day everybody's safe. One more. So as you're driving you gotta move that loader because it, it locks in. You know, the tractor, when it starts going up the hill, the loader starts going up. So if you want it to be level, you gotta move it. Right, you're too low. and I'll just rake it. <laughs> Raking it would be way easier oh, yeah? than driving this tractor. <laughs> really? Yes. Okay, well, I, I got a rake right there. You, you wanna go to town? I'll go grab some beers. <laughs> I mean, I just find it very confusing, the different 
I'm not used to it. Well, I think you I think have you about done this in five minutes. one yeah. hour of seat time, and I have like 430 hours of seat time. So that's true. That's so that's a probably a good excuse. But you did manage to spread out the uh, the big piles of chips. You've made a big mess, but that's okay because the majority of the work is done. Now I just have to go back and kind of smooth it all out and fill in the low spot, which is kind of easy. It's not it's not too bad. Okay. But um, you did a great job. Thank you. It's it's a little tricky too because you're on wood chips and there's rocks and oh, stuff yeah, buried there under there. Like, yeah, right. Well, if you guys noticed in the beginning, I forgot I had the roll bar down because I had the tractor in the shelter logic. So I quickly put that up. Um, yeah, I would even have it up if I was, you know, doing this because there are like big rocks like that, that you're kind of filling in gaps and stuff. Um, and the tractor has a pretty, pretty good potential to kind of sink in a soft spot, which we definitely wouldn't want. Um, so what do you think? You think you want me to hop on there and kind of yeah, tidy it up, it up, finish it up? We don't need to be here all night. All right. Sounds good. guys so after about 10 minutes of uh, some spreading out and some final touch-ups I got the little area looking pretty good what do you think sir looks great much better than what I did well that's you did the rough stuff I, I did yeah. the, the final touches here yeah. but uh, yeah so I, I wanted to keep the chips a little bit higher than the asphalt millings because obviously they're going to compact and biodegrade and everything um, so I, I kept them up a little bit higher and I started to track in this area here just with the tires of the tractor to try and compress them a little bit that way they're not so uh so loose so i'm going to continue to do that over there and uh just the more you know that it rains and the more time and stuff that we have and i drive over it and put stuff on it they're going to come back down really nice um, i basically did the exact same thing over here with my dump trailer and uh it's it's nice and solid over there i can park this thing fully loaded with the tractor in it and everything not even hooked up to the truck and uh it's it's not going anywhere so hopefully this area will be like that in the near future and uh, it has plenty of room for water and stuff to drain downhill more towards uh, like that sugar maple tree down there so I don't have to worry too much about it becoming too muddy and uh, 
that's it. Now we got some more parking area. Great. Just what we need. Yeah, more parking area for more toys, right? No more toys. <laughs> no more toys. All right, guys, so I'm going to finish uh, spreading out and uh, tracking in these wood chips here. Sarah's going to head up to the house and get the dogs ready. We're going to take them for a little swim. Yeah, Louie's been swimming finally. Yeah, so we're it's excited. Been fun. We've been taking them to the lake and they love it. Yeah, we throw the tennis ball in and Louie goes after it. So uh, hopefully I can get a little clip of it. We can include it at the end of the video here, yeah. huh? All right, sounds good. All right, we'll see you later. Up. You have 10 minutes. 10 minutes yeah. oh boy all right you could do it i can do it i got you. i got this all right guys gonna throw the camera on the tripod finish tracking in this stuff and then you heard the woman i got 10 minutes here we go so here it is everything all put back the way it was except now the chips are all spread out. I just got to do a final little touch up with the blower here to blow the, uh, the remaining chips off the asphalt millings because we all know I'm a little OCD and that kind of stuff matters to me. <laughs> Whether it really makes a difference or not, I don't know. But um, chips look really good. Sarah did a great job busting it down the piles. Um, I think that was a great learning opportunity for her and uh, we're gonna have plenty more loads of chips coming to keep filling in this area and just kind of pushing it back um, to create more storage for IBC totes and, you know, attachments for the roll-off truck and everything like that. But uh, these chips are definitely soft, um, but they will continue to compact and everything as time goes on. And again, like I said, I'm not gonna be parking any trucks or anything on here. Um, really the heaviest thing I think that will be going on here um, would probably be the tractor just uh, dropping off full totes of firewood, as I said. So that is the final product. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a job over at my neighbor's house this upcoming weekend. Let me see. There's, so it's that, where's my finger? That oak tree right there. Um, it's hard to see. There's a couple other trees in the way. But we're gonna be taking down that oak tree, definitely gonna be making a video on it, and all the chips from that are going to be dumped over here, which is why I wanted to get these two first piles spread. That way I have room to continue to dump loads of chips over here from that tree. Um, so that'll be exciting. We should be getting uh, that job done this upcoming weekend, as long as the weather cooperates. Um, so yeah, you have that to look forward to. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up the video. I'm super hot and over my 10 minute time limit. So uh, we're going to go take the dogs for a swim. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, thank you for helping me get to the 5,000 subscribers. Super happy about that. Um, keep telling your friends, keep sharing the videos. Um, I really appreciate it. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button down below. Questions, comments, feedback, throw it down in the comment section. But for now, I'm Jake. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time. Good boy, Gus. Good boy.